I'm going to show you how to set your points gap. This is the same on motorcycles, cars, uh, whether you've got a distributor or you have points in your engine block. It's always the same and it's pretty straightforward. So this is a little 1968 Trail 90. And on motorcycles, your points, <clears throat> almost always, they're in the engine block. And what this is, um, there is uh, there are two little contacts here. And the two little contacts uh, open and close and open and close. And that sends a signal which goes up <clears throat> to your spark plug. And that is telling it when to fire um, at the right time each time that your piston is oscillating. Um, on a bigger vehicle, <clears throat> like uh, an older truck or any other thing that's got a distributor, your points are in the bottom of the distributor. And so it is opening and closing and opening and closing for each different cylinder to fire. Now, <clears throat> sometimes <clears throat> your points are either too close together and they're not opening enough or they're opening up way too much. And that makes for a, a poor spark and it gives you uh, some crummy firing in, uh, in your cylinder and your, your spark plugs are not working properly. So <clears throat> for any vehicle, you can look up what the points gap should be and you get yourself a little feeler gauge so that you can test the points gap and make sure that it's right. Now, the way that it works, this little critter here <clears throat> is uh, oblong and as it rotates around, it makes contact with this right here, which determines how big that gap should be. So for this one right here, you put a flathead screwdriver and you loosen these two so that when this is at its widest point, and for this bike right here, <clears throat> I can open it up by turning the Kickstarter. So this will make that rotate so that right now it is at its widest point because that little guy is touching the widest part. You can see right over here, it's a flat spot, which means this will be fully closed. But right now there's a gap on those points and you use your feeler gauge whatever is appropriate for your system and you make sure that the gap is just right and for me this one is you want it to be open enough to fit but to be touching on both sides 